This episode of D News is brought to you by Audible. Animals know how to party too, you guys, and some of them get really turned up. Howdy animals, Trace here for D News. There are some animals in the kingdom who have reputations for partying down, other than slugs, Mackenzie, of course. But now there's been a new party animal on the block, the disco clam. The Journal of the Royal Society Interface published a new study and found out how the disco clam is so sparkly. They're called disco clams because of a reflective strip that runs along their bodies. Reflection isn't common in the animal world, so when the researchers spotted it, obviously it caused quite the hustle. See what I did there? Clam's white strip reflects 85 to 90 percent of the light shown on it, but the rest of the body doesn't really reflect at all. This new study found the cause of that reflection is due to nanospheres of silica in the clam's body. The animal creates these silica spheres on one side of its body, which let it flex and flash that reflection, but they're not really sure why. They assume the blinking is to warn predators, and while the flamboyant animals of the animal kingdom are usually poisonous, this clam is not. More science is definitely needed here. The disco clam isn't the only party animal out there, though. The pfeffer's flamboyant cuttlefish just wants to not cuddle with you. It's so brightly colored, they put flamboyant in the name, because it's fabulous. The cephalopod is small and colored brown, white, purple, pink, and yellow, and it can even change those colors at will using chromatophore cells in their skin, similar to octopi. They're a party animal because they're colorful, and they also walk along the seafloor. It's the only cephalopod to do that. A good strut was good enough for Travolta and Saturday Night Fever, so it works for us too. But be careful, dudes, because that girl is poison. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? Because I just did it. So we've got the disco, we've got the walk. Now we just need a crazy party. The anglerfish is something that you've seen in movies a lot. She is a stara and the female of the species brings a luminous appendage with it to always show herself in the best light for selfies. Which is actually not true, it's just for there, for attracting prey. The appendage is a bit of dorsal spine that sticks out over her body like a fishing pole, which is where they get the name anglerfish. At the end of the pole are millions of bioluminescent bacteria that live on the end of that little bit of spine. It's a symbiotic relationship. Because the anglerfish preferred the darker parts of the ocean, that bioluminescent bacteria can be used to help attract that prey, which is pretty crazy. If that's not enough for you, then cane toads are happy to be your pusher. Cane toads are native to the Americas, but they're associated more with Australia because they are invasive there. The toads secrete a poisonous venom that can kill humans. Toads like this and the Colorado River toads secrete this poison from their paratoid glands behind their eardrums. The secretion contains bufotenin, which is a powerful hallucinogenic in the right quantities because of the chemical 5-MeO-DMT, which is similar to LSD. However, a small overdose and your heart stops. So this is a pretty heavy party. Do you know any other awesome party animals? Share yours with us down below in the comments. That's why those boxes are there. And thanks for watching D News. If you're looking for a brain party though, check out audible.com and download a free book of your choice. I recommend Nonstop by Brian Aldiss. It's also called Starship. It's about a tribe of people exploring a world of giants and oddities. It's got a great twist at the end. Check it out for free and support the show by going to audiblepodcast.com slash dnews. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.